I recently listened to you on the Whippets and Flat Caps podcast. I'm a real fanboy. I really enjoy listening it's to good, those very guys. Good, doing a great very, job. Very, very good. Um, and you were talking about being nervous of expansion and nervous of Catalans, not Catalans in particular, but Toronto. Yeah. And then I spoke to the guys at Toronto we work with, we do quite a lot of work yeah. with the guys, and they said you'd been over. Yeah. So I thought, perfect example, let's, let's ask you, <laughs> how did you get on in Toronto? Did you enjoy your trip? Yeah, I think, I think nervousness is really just looking, anybody who's been in rugby league for any period of time knows that our track record in terms of expansion isn't good. Yeah. I mentioned there about the game needed to be younger, more confident and more ambitious. As I said, when I came back from Toronto, I experienced a club and, and, and a game and a culture that was all of those things yeah. so uh, really good branding great occasion much younger crowd crowd different in the sense of you know more 18 to 30 year old rather than I think what I see here probably anecdotally is a lot of younger families and, and, and older age groups whereas Toronto put that bit in the middle together terrific city um, you know if Toronto can be self-sustaining terrific if we can bring it in and afford all the travel and the disruption of transatlantic travel great What's it going to do for an ex-broadcast deal, an ex-sponsorship deal? Still don't know, really. So, so in that sense, the jury's out. And I do come back to a very unfair premise, which is, you know, history tells you uh, we're not good at this. Now, that's really unfair on Toronto, and we need to let them, uh, you know, to see, see if they can deliver that. Do you think it could bring some new casual fans? I, I was really fortunate uh, to have fished in uh, a PDC fishing charity competition last week and everybody, a lot of people keep talking about Barry and Eddie Earn and one of the things that Eddie was talking about is that there's not enough casual fans, rugby league fans are very hardcore and passionate about it, uh, other sports like boxing and darts, you get people just going to have an experience to, to get to an event well, uh, teams like Toronto bring a little bit of curiosity in those casual fans that we maybe don't have mm. m m Maybe Jamie, maybe they will we need to bring in new audience, absolutely um, Ultimately, you know, maybe I'm a bit of a traditionalist. I just think it's the product on the pitch. It's the 80 minutes of football that's going to make them stick around. And, you know, I, 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 I tell a few people I went to watch Cass and Wigan with my two kids. Who, uh, I've got three kids, actually. Two of them came to the game. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, two, the two ones who like rugby league. And, and first half, you know, it was, there were a lot of errors. It wasn't a great night. 30 minutes in, the phones are out. My daughter's doing this. My son's, I'm like, bang, bang, bang. And, you know... Ultimately, what I want is their phones to stay in their pocket. I never want them to get their phones out because they want to be compelled by it. And so for me, it's about the product on the pitch that'll mean they want to come back next week because the game was great. And it's about keeping your phone in your pocket because the minute the phone comes out, it's telling you the game ain't great. That game got out of jail because I think there was a last minute drop goal or penalty and, and it was tight and they went home with a great memory of it. But for me, it's about making the product great. That's about, that, it's that that'll sustain the fan base going forward.